what are signs that my teammate or I may be experiencing mental health uh, difficulties? I think the biggest one, and, and I think uh, both Dr. Bygon and myself have mentioned it, change in behavior, changes in behavior. And particularly um, in, in, an, in a teammate, something that the teammate begins to isolate, the teammate begins to not participate the, this is a, a teammate that usually is that, that the wonderful teammate that is always a smile on the face and they're just, they're always present and they're ready to go and they're, you know, they're just there. And all of a sudden now they're not. There's, they are very lethargic acting. Um, now, Changes in behavior can be a result of a number of things. Uh, something might have happened at home or whatever. It doesn't necessarily mean it's a mental health issue. But if you're seeing changes in behavior in a teammate, please, as, as Dr. Vigan is saying, talk about it. And, and talking with a teammate and saying, gosh, I just am noticing is, uh, that you're, you know, you're, it seems like you're struggling. You haven't been with us. And you're, it just seems like all these things are, have changed for you. I'm concerned about you is, is how we present some of that. And I think if it's a, a, in a personal thing, it's like the same thing. Are you, have you changed behaviors? Um, and as we go back, are you eating too much? Are you sleeping too much? Uh, do you just not want to, you not want to do the sport you love? You lost your why, you lost your purpose. And so beginning to see some of those kinds of things, I think that's when it's time to talk to somebody. And again, talking oftentimes, I know, and just the, I was working with a student athlete today and um, this is the second time I met with her and she had sent an email and said, I really know I need to talk to somebody and I don't, I'm embarrassed to do this. And this is not the thing I do. And I just don't really want to do this. And so she came in and we talked and she comes back today and said, I feel so much better. I mean, we didn't do that much, right? But, but the talk, the getting it out, the secrets out, um, and we normalize it. You know, if it's a teammate and a teammate's struggling, we normalize it. And sometimes what I've encouraged teammates to do, sometimes teammates are hesitant to go get help by themselves. You know, offer to go with the, the teammate, uh, even to get them there. Now, obviously we want you to then pull out of, of, of the situation, but, but it helps them get there. They have somebody that's gonna go with. And, and, and what I would caution against too is also becoming the teammate's therapist uh, because you're a teammate. You're not a therapist. There's, there's, we all on all of our campus have people that are trained to do that. Uh, and don't take that burden on yourself. Be, be concerned, but also be insistent upon, pretty insistent upon, let's, let's, let's talk to somebody, let's get some help. 